These are 15 new and surprising ways to use castor oil. Now, if you missed my previous castor oil videos, I did two of them. I will link them right up here. The one you should definitely watch if you haven't is the one where I use castor oil in kind of weird ways on my body. And after 30 days, I saw crazy results. So definitely watch that one. But today I'm sharing, like I said, new ways that you can actually use this. This stuff is literally a miracle elixir. Now I will link my personal favorite brand of castor oil down below in the description box. I'll also pin it in the comment section. I do just get it from Amazon. It is a really, really good company. And this stuff does wonder. So you want a good quality castor oil. Now this is 100% organic. It is extra virgin. It is cold pressed. It's also hexane free and it is in a dark glass bottle, which is really what you want. I'll also link a few other brands down below just in case this happens to sell out, but I'll make sure they meet all of the, the criteria. We're actually going to start in the beauty realm and then I'm going to work my way up into weirder, kind of more surprising ways to use castor oil. And then I'm going to end the video with just sharing more details about the story of my mom and her chest and what castor oil did for her. I was really vague before and I kind of still need to be semi vague, but it really can change people's lives. Number one, you can actually use castor oil as a natural facial cleanser, like a cleansing oil. So if you have a lot of makeup on, it doesn't even have to be just to remove makeup, but you can put a little bit in your hand. A little goes a long way with this stuff. It is pretty thick, but you just, you know, rub it on your hands and put it all over over your face, a dry face by the way, and it will melt off your makeup, but it's going to give you so much hydration. It's going to plump up your skin. It really is good for your skin, but again, it cleans your skin. It melts that makeup off. Then you should go in with a regular water-based cleanser and then wash everything off and it really gets off all of your makeup. You could also add castor oil directly to your favorite body gel. And so you can kind of start out slow, just add a little bit at first, shake up the bottle. It'll mix all together. If you want to add more, you totally can. But the real benefit here is getting castor oil all over your body. So you're actually going to find that this will make your body gel lather even better, but it will also add moisture and hydration to your skin. So when you get out of the shower, you will feel like you don't need to then slather lotion all over your body. Now, if you are somebody that likes to get tattoos, or maybe you just want one in the future, or your husband wants one or whatever, consider using castor oil as the aftercare ointment, because this has a lot of antimicrobial properties, meaning it actually better prevents infection. It's extremely healing and soothing. Again, very moisturizing. And in my previous videos, I did talk a lot about how castor oil is so good for many skin conditions and skin ailments. If you see something weird on your skin, try putting castor oil on it for a few days, maybe even a few weeks, and I would not be surprised that it either helps it or just completely takes it away. But in this video, I wanted to share things I haven't talked about before, and I just keep reading how good this is for treatment of like fresh tattoos. I love this next one. So castor oil is also a really great natural insect repellent. So I'm talking like mosquitoes, ticks, like all the annoying bugs we get in spring and summer. And also let me just say regular bug spray is horribly toxic, such bad chemicals. I mean, really bad. I refuse to use any of it. I will not put it on my kids. So I'm very excited to use castor oil this year. You can even add essential oils to it to add even more protection like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, frankincense, citronella. They the bugs just really don't like that stuff either. I will also link these little roller balls. You can also get these on Amazon. You can add castor oil to them, put some of your favorite essential oils in it. And it's just an easier way to apply in different areas of your body. You can even take it on the go, throw it in your purse. You can even use it as perfume. Now using that same exact glass roller ball, you can actually use that to apply castor oil to your cuticles. It's a great cuticle softener. You can just add it to each nail and cuticle area, rub it in, and then it'll soften everything. You can push your cuticles up, trim them if you like. But that leads to the next thing that, you know, castor oil is great for, and that's just your nails in general. It is so amazing for your nails and growing your nails longer, 
harder, stronger, faster. It is amazing. And I feel like that rollerball is a perfect way to actually apply it. Now, this is the last beauty treatment I'll be talking about, but castor oil is also amazing for split ends. It's a great split end treatment. Now you're going to want to do this a few hours before you want to wash your hair and take a shower, or you could actually do it before bed and let it sit on your hair all night. But again, a little goes a long way, put it in your hands, and then you will apply it to the ends of your hair. And this works great for people that don't even have split split ends because it will help prevent them from ever happening. If you do have visible split ends, the castor oil will help seal the cuticle. It will help reduce the appearance of them and then it will help prevent further damage. All right, we're going down a completely different path here. If you have pets, maybe a cat who gets hairballs, you can put just a couple drops of castor oil in their food each day because this is so lubricating. This will actually help the fur and whatnot pass through their digestive system rather than upsetting their stomach and having them puke all the time. But you have to start small with this. Literally put like maybe one, maybe two drops and it will make a big difference. But again, you need to start slow because that leads me to the next weird way you can use castor oil and that is relieving constipation which I briefly talked about that in my previous videos, but I more touched upon how you can apply this directly to your stomach before bed, and then it will help with digestion the following day. I was kind of leery about recommending internal use of castor oil, but it just works so well. And I, I've, I've seen so many comments about how people take spoonfuls of this and it just, it's amazing. So I think usually people start with only a teaspoon and then kind of like work their way up from there. It's definitely a much better way to address that concern than a lot of other stuff out there. Now this next thing might sound kind of dumb, but not really. As I mentioned, this is very lubricating. So you can actually use it as a WD-40 replacement. So if you have a squeaky door or a squeaky hinge, something that makes noise when you move it, you can take castor oil and just put a little bit on a paper towel, dab it on the hinge, move it back and forth to get it covered, and then it instantly takes away the sound. So Josh was actually very impressed with this next surprising way to use castor oil, and it's using it as a leather conditioner on like shoes, bags, belts, like really any leather. You can again add some to a paper towel and you know apply it directly onto the leather. It's going to shine everything up. It's going to increase the suppleness of the leather. It's going to prevent cracking. And you can see these shoes that we did. The before and after is pretty impressive. The one on the left was very kind of like dry and matte and then it just spruced up his shoes. And so again, it's just, it's just interesting. Anything in life, if something's wrong or like messed up, consider castor oil. It, it might fix it. But what's funny is I was watching one of Tati Westbrook's YouTube videos on castor oil a few months ago, and she said something that totally cracked me up because I've said the exact same thing. But do you guys remember the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, where there was the dad who just put Windex on everything? Well, castor oil is the exact same thing. If there is a problem, put some castor oil on it. Now this next one, I actually haven't personally tried, but I've read in several forums that it works really well, but you can use castor oil as a rust remover. So if you have something just like full of rust, it's super hard to get off. I mean, it's honestly just a nightmare. You can put castor oil, let it sit for a few hours or even overnight, take a pretty strong uh, bristled brush and scrub it and it will remove the rust. Now back to the pest repellent thing. If you are a gardener or you like to have a garden outside, you don't wanna use bad chemicals, but you want to ward off the things that are gonna hurt your plants. Gardeners love castor oil as a natural pest repellent. So what they do is they take equal parts castor oil, water, and dish soap, and you put it all together in a bottle, like a spray bottle, and you just spray the leaves and it works to repel the pests. Now say you are sick, you're very congested, it's hard to breathe, you can get a humidifier and actually put some castor oil directly into the water. Now at first you're probably thinking like castor oil and water, like they don't mix, but they actually kind of do. If you stir it with a spoon, it will actually incorporate into the water and then you can use the humidifier at night while you're sleeping. And again, it will loosen up that congestion. It will help lubricate your, your sinuses. And it's just, it really is a big help. I actually did this 
when was it? It was a few months ago. My, my kids haven't been sick in a long time, but Hayes was pretty congested with a cough and I used it in his room. And I really, really think, I mean, he enjoyed it, but I think it did make a big difference. Alrighty, so now I wanna share just some more details about what happened to my mom when I was just a little girl and what truly planted the seed in my brain that this stuff can be miraculous. Again, I was very, very young, but my mom ended up developing some lumps in her breast and, um, um, I remember her like waiting a long time to go to the doctor, which is like not what you should do. But she finally got so concerned, she ended up going to the doctor, which is like not normal for my mom, let me just tell you. They were very concerned, like the way they felt, like they were like, you must get a biopsy. It was just like not a good outlook at all. And I remember my mom crying, like I, and it was just like not a good, it was not good, but, I, before I move on though, I just wanna say if you have lumps in your body, I'm not saying you should not get a biopsy, but my mom is my mom and she wanted to go the natural route. She wanted to try something first. And so she used castor oil packs on her chest every single night. She was extremely diligent. She also limited sugar, but the main thing she did was use castor oil packs on her chest every single day. Did not miss a day. After a few months, they started to go down and then they're completely gone. And so I I don't wanna throw around the C word, but we will never know. She never got a biopsy because it completely went away. If you go back to my original castor oil video, there's like six or 7,000 comments on that video. I really encourage you to just go read through those comments because there are some C word situations that it blown my mind. There are so many amazing testimonials in that video. I will link it right here. Watch this video next. It will blow your mind. Bye.